Guys, I'm looking at uh, a place here which is in Sandy Point. So, us down in the Caribbean. This is in St. Kitts. And this is a place that has come up for for auction. It's, a, I guess, a foreclosure. And what it consists of, I'm on the lower floor. I'm looking at the the kitchen area, the kitchen dining living area. Through here is a bedroom over here and also a, a bathroom. So this is a, a contained unit. And from what I could see when I was there, when I was in the building, this is last week, it's a, it's a four unit building. Now the thing is that, notice it's a concrete roof. So we don't have as much to worry about hurricanes as some of the other places would. But let us take a look. This place, Pump Bay Heights, this is how the building looks as it is right now. So you go up these stairs to this floor. I was just on this section here. So as you can see, one unit here, another unit here, another unit there, another unit at the back. And then, of course, there's a unit on the, the far side of it. So this is one entrance. This is another entrance up the stairs. Everything is concrete, including the stairs. The, this is a concrete roof, so it's a solid house. <coughs> this house isn't going anywhere unless there's an earthquake. Yes, I said it. Now, what is the value of this place? There is what they call an upset price. The upset price is just the condition way of saying minimum bid. So there's a minimum bid, from what I understand, of 7,500 US dollars. So we're going to be looking at everything in US dollars. And just, uh, just to give you an idea about that, 77,500 US dollars is around the equivalent of $100,000 uh, Canadian. So the upset price or the minimum bid on this place is going to be roughly 100,000 Canadian dollars. And for this uh, Canadian dollars, we're going to flip back, however, to US dollars because that's a currency. And remember that the East Caribbean currency, the Ketishan currency, is tied to, I think it's 2.7. Anyway, it's tied directly to the, to, the, um, to the US dollar. So it's not as volatile as, let's say, the Jamaican dollar or some of our uh, South American friends. You know how that's going with the condo that you bought in Colombia. But that's another story. We'll get to that in a moment. So we have this place, as I said, I'm walking through it. All of this is solid, solid, what you call cinder block, or solid blocks, cement blocks. Uh, and, of course, steel going up the sides. And this is some information about the property and also some other pictures. So as you can see, the place is, uh, needs work, it needs some care, the, um, I don't know how else to put it, the, see the pop, uh, property details, 3,630 square feet, so over 3,000 square feet, seven bedrooms, four bathrooms, etc. Uh, the exterior construction is reinforced concrete and block, the roof is a reinforced concrete slab, we like those. The floors, reinforced concrete slabs with ceramic tiles. We like those. The windows are single hung, exterior doors, uh, that's not as important because we are going to, we are going to, um, we're going to be renovating, so removing a lot of that stuff. So if you're looking at the, the Federation as it is right now, I'll go to our Google Maps, but this is Basseterre. This is on the other end of the island. Let's go back to uh, our conversion. Now, how much is this property worth? Well, I'll tell you how much I think it's worth. If you look at this, and it has four rooms, four units. And also, if we agree that each of these can rent for a minimum of $800 US, sorry, $800 EC, $800 EC what I did was, they told me that it can rent for about between 900 and uh, 1100. I'm going even below that because I'd like to be able to offer it at a good price for in terms of rental. So what we'd be looking at 
is a place that will be renting for the equivalent of $296 a month. That's assuming a 25% vacancy rate. So we're going in with, with, into this with our eyes wide open. We're going to say, look, <laughs> for three of the 12 months, the place is going to be completely vacant. Why? Let's say it's summertime. Uh, and uh, I don't know, the students have flown the coop, so to speak. Whatever the reason is, we're assuming a 25% vacancy rate. You know the vacancy rate isn't going to be as high as that. But when we go into this with our eyes wide open, we look at worst possible scenario, what I call the WPS, worst possible scenario. Then from there, we can be pleasantly surprised at anything. So, 296 we're looking at $888 US every month coming in, even in a worst case scenario. Of course, there is a worse possible case if there's a nuclear war and you know everybody's dead, then the vacancy rate is 100%. We're not assuming that, so we're not going that deep into it. But we're assuming a vacancy rate of 25%. That gives us $888 a month US. And if we look at our high friendly uh, calculator by CIBC, all of this is available online. None of this is proprietary real estate stuff. This, if I can do it, you know that it's idiot possible. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. You put this in and that mortgage amount of $126,000 US will support at 7%. So we're not going at a three, four, five, and six percent that we know that we can get right now. We're going with the worst possible case scenario, and that is seven percent. At seven percent, $883 will support a mortgage of $126,000. So assuming you put in zero dollars, you can still bid this up to $126 and know that you're getting your you're getting value for it. However, one caveat. I think that if we're looking at US dollars, this may take about twenty to twenty-six thousand dollars in order to bring it up to the level which we would like. So we're not going to offer air conditioning on it right away. Uh, what we are going to do is make sure that the tenants pay their utilities, especially hydro, what they call electricity down there. And we are going to assume that we're going to come into it with $25,000 worth of renovations. What that means is that we can safely go from $77,500 up to $100,000. Now, once we pass the $100,000, remember this is worst case scenario. Once we pass the $100,000, the $100, you have to decide whether it's worth it to you to go beyond that. I would suggest that unless you're a handyman or an expert builder or something like that, maybe you can go to possibly one ten, hundred and ten thousand dollars And if you do that, you are still getting good value. So you can bid that price up to $110,000 US and still be getting good value. But here's the other side of it. I've given you the worst possible case scenario. What I would envision for myself is a, a place which is, in my view, not at a 25% vacancy rate because of some other things that are happening in the area, uh, some other projects that are going up. We can almost be sure of renting these to people who will be working at those facilities. But that's another story. We look at the economic area, the economic situation, uh, the parentheses around which we are going to be purchasing this place. And with that in mind, I would keep, personally, I would keep this unit, I'd account for the 25% vacancy rate up here. And anytime that unit is available, I would be down there enjoying the, the view. We don't have a picture of the view. I have a video which you can see. Uh, the view of the ocean, the view of, uh, I'm not sure if you can see Stacia from here. But anyway, that's what I'd be doing. I'd be living in this unit up here whenever I go down there. The rest of the time, I'll Airbnb that out to whoever wants to be in Sandy Point, whoever's coming in from Stacia or St. Eustatius or, you know, those other places. That's up to you. But 
we're going to this one sleep left and we are going to look at what the potential is for real estate in St. Kitts, San Cristobal, for those of you Puerto Rican or those of you from the Dominican Republic or Santo Domingo. We're going to be looking at this and within 24 hours, we'll have some answers for you. As I said, for all my clients who are down there, bid, bid up to 100000 on this with no fear. Remember this, we're not even talking about any of your money that's going into it. If you think you have another 25000 U.S. Uh, sitting around, sure, you can uh, bid that up to $125,000. I'm suggesting against that. Go up to $100,000. Go with your builder, your handyman, your contractor, so he can give you some, act, the one that you trust, so that they can give you some accurate figures on that. Guys, it's, it's 10.15 now. I think we've had enough for the day, at least for this first session. I'll be here till 12 o'clock. We were at the office here in, uh, in Port Credit, but that's what we do. Did I tell you about that fish that I just had? <laughs> that stuff makes you feel like a king, which of course we already... Anyway, that's about the story. Pump Bay Heights. Guys, get all over this. Call your buddies down in the United States. Call your buddies in, um, in Canada. And instead of saying, why are all these foreigners coming in? getting our land call, you go and grab yourself a piece of the rock. Stay with us if you can.